Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you can tell by the title I'm so excited for this video I'm literally so happy I've been waiting for these products this video is the black owned makeup brand challenge um, in this video I'm going to be attempting to do a full face of makeup using only black owned makeup brands and I am so happy to be purchasing and supporting and also putting these businesses more in the limelight um, in order for people to buy from them because why not? Why, you know, I, I've seen this trend go on for quite some time now. The first person I saw do it personally was Alyssa Forever um, years ago, probably like 2016, 2017. And I was always intrigued by it from then, but if I'm being honest, it was something I kind of pushed from the side, you know, I just was focusing on the makeup that like I was always used to. And with everything going on in the world right now, including coronavirus and the just racial injustice that happens, especially here in America, um, I personally thought it was just right for me to go out and do my own research and to try and find black owned businesses, black owned hair brands, black owned makeup brands, black owned skincare brands, black owned fashion brands, and so on and so forth. So. I want to do a little series because I don't want to limit it to just during this time of where, you know, black people, we are really taking a stance and speaking up for what we feel is right and how we feel mistreated through from our government and from our own even fellow citizens. Um, I want this to be something that's always there. You know what I mean? Because I don't want it to be like just like oh my gosh like you only buy from back black owned businesses like once in a while like no these are businesses that you should support all the time so i found it to be really important once just things kind of just things really got out of hand this year when it came to um, police brutality against black people and the terrible deaths of george floyd ahmaud Aubrey. Breonna Taylor and so on and so forth many more names obviously and um I just really wanted to do this so I am um, it was so crazy because then I came across a thread on Twitter which if I find it again I'll link it down below because I definitely bookmarked it where it was um basically pictures with a whole bunch of black owned makeup hair brands skincare brands and fashion brands so i'll let, link that down below um and there's also some things that i've always had that i didn't even know were black owned and i'm so happy to finally educate myself on those things and to bring that to you guys so you guys can support black owned businesses um during not only this global pandemic pandemic but also during this time of racial inequality in our country in america so yeah this video is just in support of black owned businesses i support you continue to do your thing if there are any black owned businesses that of course i know i'm missing out on because there are so many that i didn't even know about please let me know of any down below i'm willing to check out anything i want to do a fashion version of this video skincare version and also here for curly hair products so please let me know if you have any recommendations down below i also in my videos lately i've been putting slides where you can donate and where you can sign petitions and such and then any resources that you may need to get through this time especially as black people it's tough um it's mentally draining to see um a lot of things not just to see racism be so prevalent that would that was always prevalent but just more prevalent that's put out on the media and put out on social media and just in general um i have mental health resources and also resources where you can donate at the end of my videos and i also wanted to educate myself a bit more so me and my friend we went searching for different articles and i just wanted to kind of redo the title of this article um that i just really found interesting and it kind of crazy so it's basically just saying 40 percent of black owned businesses are not as much expected to survive the coronavirus and in this article it explains basically that it's because they're not getting any help from the government and so i'm going to link that article down below it comes with a video as well go watch the video um read the article it's really good to educate yourself on these things and i'm just happy to gain an understanding and to learn more about different black owned businesses and black owned brands that i can support and put out and let people know that they are there and you know that they're heard because it's important and i'm just happy that it's you know it's taken a lot to bring so much attention and light to certain things but 
to see this challenge, you know, be brought up again after I saw I saw it about four years ago, to see this challenge be brought up again and people supporting black owned businesses, it really makes my heart so happy. Like, because why not? Why wouldn't you in general? I'm I'm so happy. So I can't wait to try these products out. Like I said, please let me know of any other businesses that I'm missing out on down below because I definitely want to check them out. Um and yeah, so without further ado let's just get right into this video and let's you know take our mind off of some of the heavy things with some makeup but also gain some understanding on you know new brands that we could support so let's go let's get into it okay so i brought you guys in a little bit closer so to start off my face i use this ancient cosmetics jojoba oil now this has one natural ingredient i believe it is also hypoallergenic um, i will link it down below ancient cosmetics is a family owned business it's a black owned business and i didn't even know this when i was first ordering from them but i want to do my research on them so i figured this out before i even thought of this video and i was like thank god so i use this every single day and i love it for my skin it keeps me hydrated and just moisturized now i'm someone who has normal i want to say normal to oily because if i can if i use a product for example like cetaphil and or something like a facial wash or something that's like for oily skin my skin dries and said i do have oily spots on certain parts of my face like for example my nose can be a bit more dry um so but this oil does not make me feel greasy or oily at all of course you just use a little bit a little bit goes a long way i've had this bottle now for about a month to two months i don't know i filmed a video actually reviewing this um these products so i'll put it up here um i really recommend i also have some i have a turmeric scrub by them i love it. it makes my legs and my body so soft love it they also have this acne beyond serum that i have not tried yet because i'm not really dealing with any um breakouts right now i was gonna say outbreaks outbreaks but i'm not dealing with any breakouts right now but i'll definitely try this I also have a body butter that i absolutely love argan oil and jasmine jasmine argan oil or lavender argan oil amazing makes your skin soft a little bit goes a long long way i think it's um a year before it expires so you will be i think you'll be set for that whole year so that's really great i really love the brand i'm not applying primer but i do not have a primer from a black owned brand so like i said in the beginning um any products that i mentioned that are not black owned or any steps in my routine that I have that are not black owned, please let me know of anything that I can, any brands I can check out and purchase from down below. So I definitely need a primer and I would love, I want to do an updated video on this. Probably like maybe every, I don't know, every time I just find some really good finds from these brands and want to, you know, put them out there more because they deserve the limelight. But um, if there's any primer that you know of that is from a black owned makeup brand, please let me know down below because I want to try it. Primer is on. So I put my, so what I do always, I put my jojoba oil on first and then I apply some primer and now I go into foundation. So for our foundation today, we're going to be using this Oma, U Uoma, I'm not completely sure, this Oma, I'm going to say Oma, Oma Beauty, um, Say What Foundation. First of all, I got this today, this was taking so long, I actually contacted them, I actually contacted them because I was like, yo, where's my order, and they were so sweet about it, they helped me out, finally came in today, and this is what was holding me back from filming this video, but I was looking at the packaging, first of all, I said step one, I was like, oh my gosh, did I buy a primer, but no. I'm assuming step two is a like concealer, but I love the packaging. It has cute sayings on it. It says, um, stronger together, we are an empowered tribe. Our race is human. Our people are free. Our language is color. And I just love the packaging of it. So when you open it, it looks like this. Oh my gosh. Um, this says it's a weightless, soft, matte, hydrating foundation. So I normally go for like... A true matte foundation I don't I don't know um, so it's hydrating so I don't know I hope it doesn't make me look oily because sometimes when foundations are just like hydrating or more towards like dry skin they can make me look really really oily but I'm hoping that this doesn't but I've seen Nikki tutorials use this a lot and she's a full coverage girl so I saw her use it she did a black owned makeup brand um, video as well recently and I saw her use it oh my gosh so I was just like okay and it looks beautiful on her so i was just like okay let me try it plus i wanted to try something different i do also have the juvia's place i am magic 
foundation but that foundation shade is too dark for me when i reviewed it first last year as well which i'll put up here as well um it was too deep for me at that time so imagine me now i'm much lighter than i was last year so I was like, let me hold off on that. But I do really like that foundation. I love the coverage of it. It really sits on your skin well. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Truly full coverage. If you really love full coverage, that's the foundation I would try. So I'm going to shake it because when I did my first pump, it came out really watery and I'm kind of scared. Oh my God, it's coming out so watery. Wait, I'm scared. I'm going to keep shaking it. Hold on. I don't know why it keeps coming out so oily. Okay. But I'm just gonna put it on. I don't think its consistency is like that, but maybe, I don't know. Oh, I have the shade, sorry, oh my gosh. Honey Honey, it's T2W. Oh, this is a good um, shade match actually, hold on. Nikki, you're getting good at sh matching your shade finally. So far, putting it on. I just think it needs a few shakes because it is coming out so watery for some reason, and I don't think it's supposed to come out like that, but um, it looks good on my skin. I'm gonna keep trying to shake it to see what the hell. If not, I'm gonna open the bottle and see what's up. It has coverage to it though, so I think it's either medium or full coverage. I'm liking it so far. I actually really love this shade match. They had a great shade range. I'm not sure exactly the number of shades that they have but i know that they had a good shade range to choose from which i was happy about from the fairest light to the deepest dark so you can definitely go check them out i'm actually really liking the way this is sitting on my face so it says that it's a hydrating foundation but it's a soft matte finish. And that's exactly what I feel like I'm getting. Um, I feel like my skin looks really flawless. What the heck? Okay, I'm taking the hair out. I was trying to look cute from the side, but... Okay. I'm actually really liking this and I'm really happy that this was my shade because normally I'm so dumb when it comes to shades. Like I'm like, no. But this was perfect. Like, I haven't even put any on my neck yet. No, I did. Wow, I like this a lot because I do love me a matte foundation, but this is like a hydrating matte formula. So it's giving me coverage as well. So like I said, I'm assuming it's medium to full. I think it's more on the full coverage side. Um, oh my God, it's giving me great coverage actually. But if you want coverage coverage, Juvia's Waste Eye Magic. This, wow, it literally looks like skin. Like, I could wear this out, put on, do my brows, put on some mascara, some lip gloss, and, like, you would think that it was my skin. Huh. Perfect match, too. Wow, great undertone. I love that. I squirted too much into the cap because it was just really watery for some reason. It's the, I don't think it's the consistency of it. I think I just have to give it some more shakes because it probably was, you know, in transit for a bit. But overall, I'm really liking this. This is gonna have like a lot of like first impressions as well, but I'm really liking this. Wow, okay. Wow, it looks so flawless. Wow, all right then, cool. I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna put this over here. Okay. So next we're gonna go into concealer. So for concealer, I have this Juvia's Place Eye Magic Concealer in shade 18. Um, like I said, I reviewed this last year. I liked it a lot when I reviewed it, but I love this. And I also do like to prime my eyes with this as well. I like to prime my eyes with concealer, but um, only certain ones. Like I really normally like to do it with just like the Makeup Revolution concealer and this one as well, because I don't know, I just think they have a great hold for that purpose. But I do like this line. They have a great shade range as well. So you should definitely check them out. Oh my god, I didn't know how crazy I looked on camera. Lord. I like this combo a lot, actually. It's going very well together. Wow. Okay, Nikki. Thank God. Thank God. 
Okay, so I don't have a brow product, so I'm gonna do my brows really quickly off camera. But like I said, oh my god, I feel like I look so crazy. I'm gonna just do them while I'm talking because I feel like I look really crazy. As I've mentioned before, product that I don't have that isn't black owned, please let me know of any suggestions that you have. So any brow products, I guess more specifically like a brow, but you know what, any brow product, any brow product that is black owned, please, from a black owned business, please um, let me know. I would love to check it out. Um, I didn't find too many. I know Fenty Beauty has brow product, if I'm not mistaken, but um, I stuck to getting something else so yeah but just please let me know any of brow suggestions that you have i'm really liking this combo wow okay so for contour we're gonna cream contour because we're gonna be extra i'm gonna take these fancy beauty matchsticks um i'm gonna take the shade shuffle and that is gonna be my contour shade now fancy beauty is co-owned by rihanna miss robin rihanna fenty as we all know the queen i guess i count it I love this and these sticks can last you a really long time so I really love that about them as well like you're not just spending your money on a product that's just gonna be out in like two seconds like it's gonna be there so I'm gonna use the bottom of my beauty sponge to blend that out but you guys have seen me use this on my channel before I'm absolutely obsessed with them especially when I want to do a cute little cream contour moment also when I don't want to wear powders and I just really want to go for like a dewy just finish on my face i love <laughs> i'm like love using this product for that so um and i love the fact that it comes in threes but i do think they also sell them individually as well so you guys should definitely go check them out if you have it i mean if you have it you're kind of sleep um they have amazing they have amazing shade ranges as well when it comes to their um, skin care foundation concealer. I have not tried out the um, foundation. <laughs> I tried out the concealer. I did review it. I'll either put it up here or link it down below if you guys would want to check that out. But when it came out, I did review it. I liked it a lot. So that's a spoiler, but why wouldn't I? But yeah, so I, I like Fenty Beauty. I've also never tried their eyeshadow. I've just never tried anything else. Like, I love their gloss. It's literally my favorite thing in the world. That gloss bomb, girl. Fussy, girl. Fussy is my girl. But definitely check those products out if you haven't. I think Fenty Beauty is a great brand with great products. And they also don't have too bad of a price range when it comes to their skincare. So, well, skincare, what skin products. So... I'll definitely check them out. Let me know if you guys want me to try the foundation because I don't know. I think they have different versions of it, like a soft matte and then now a hydrating one. And they also have setting spray, I think, as well. So, I don't know. Let me know if you guys would like me to try that on here. And I will definitely do that because I'm probably going to get it soon every anyways to try it. Next up, I'm going to set my face. Now, for setting, I got this Beauty Bakery better not bitter flower set flower setting powder first of all i love the brand name beauty bakery and i love how it like literally looks like flower like that is so cute i haven't opened it yet i cleaned it off when i got it but i just haven't opened it it's in the shake oh i don't want to um mispronounce this cassava cassava um it's yellow and i went for the more yellow toned because i was kind of scared because i don't know oh my god this is such cute packaging <gasps> I feel rich <laughs> but I, I don't know I just wanted to be in the safe zone I'm kind of scared of it still because I didn't want to go translucent because translucent sometimes on me especially when your girl is tan I, not a look I don't I don't know it just doesn't do it for me let's try her out so I'm gonna pour some into the top we're gonna use that same beauty sponge but the other side and we're gonna set like we never set before And I kind of want to bake with this, so I'm kind of setting first, but I think I'm going to add some on top because I didn't take too much out. So, yeah, I'm going to add some on top to add a bit of, like, a barrier um, for our eyeshadow because we're going to be moving into eyeshadow next. I know Juvia's Place has a... Um, setting powder that they came out with when they came out with their whole I am magic um skin line but I did not try that out but if you guys have let me know how that is 
because I I've seen like I said I've been I've seen this trend for a while but especially now so I've been watching videos and I've seen people use it people like it I mean everybody has a different opinion people like it, people don't but you guys let me know what you guys think and if I should try it and if I should let your girl know and um she definitely will hopefully this doesn't have product on it does it oh maybe a little but okay so let's move into eyes ah, I'm bringing out a little a little uh, I'm bringing y'all in a little closer as if y'all wasn't close enough like come here so for eyes I have these two Juvia's Place palettes now I love this one because this is your neutral girl this is the Nubian palette by Juvia's this is the mini one I use this shade for my brows sometimes as well so if you want a little hack that's my hack for you um, but I love these neutral shades in here and then I also have the masquerade mini mini and look at this girl now i was more tempted to go to these shades but i really wanted to do like a nice brown look i don't know it's pulling me it's pulling me so i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna take just this brush this is um oh also please let me know of any brands that any brush brands or any brands that have brushes that are black owned because we'd love to try those out um but this is just a morphe brush um more specifically the JH33 and I like it I like to use it on my outer corner just because of the shape so um, if you guys want for reference of what I'm doing that's why I'm using it I'm gonna take the shade and please um, forgive me if I pronounce these names wrong but I'm gonna take the shade Ada or Ada and I'm gonna put that on my outer corner Ooh. now I've used these palettes like I said but I've never I didn't dive into all the shades, so I'm gonna try my best to, I don't know, dive into some more shades, because I do go for more of the um, neutral shades in, in this palette, and also, of course, that palette's like all neutral, but we're gonna see. This is coming off on me as more burgundy-ish. Now, I actually like that, though. It's like brownish. It looks really brown in the pan, but it's coming off as burgundy, but I don't really mind it. That's pretty. Like a like a reddish brown, if that makes sense. I don't even know what look I'm going for, guys. Ugh, I need some direction, but okay. So over that, I want to go in with Fulani, which is the corner all the way the corner which is the shade all the way in the left corner I'm gonna kind of pack that on top to make it more brown with leaving the other shade like kind of more as the crease shade so you can see the transition between the two from like a reddish brown to a more deeper brown brown you know I'm gonna go into the Nubian and I'm gonna take this shade in the corner Oh, it doesn't say names on it, but I'm gonna take the deepest shade in that palette and I'm gonna add that to the outer as well to deepen it a bit. I like this. I love me a nice, just brown eye. Like, I'm gonna take this brush and this doesn't have any shade on it, and I'm just gonna kind of like fan everything out. Now the eyes aren't going to be too crazy, so what I want to do, I want to take concealer and I want to put it on the back of my hand just a bit. I'm going to take the other side of this brush that I was using and I'm going to take the concealer I'm going to kind of cut the crease, but I'm going to do it like a half cut crease. Now I have no idea what I want to do for this. Do I want to keep it, you know, matte or add a shimmer? I am not sure whatsoever but we're gonna find out i guess together this concealer really is nice i really do like it a lot um i took a break from using it but i really like it and i'm happy i went back to it and i most likely when i run out i'll be purchasing it again because i really like it Now I know it looks a bit messy, this always looks messy for me at first, but what I'll do is I'll go in with like the clean brush that I use for my crease, which in my case happens to be on the other side of the brush, and I like to, wow I said that sentence really fast, but I like to just fan out and kind of blend out the edges of where I put the concealer so that um, the colors blend together. I kind of wanted to leave this look matte, but I'm not seeing like a matte shade that's appealing to me to cover this shade so 
I'm gonna try something out. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Dahia, which is in the right corner of the Masquerade mini palette. And I'm gonna just go over top that concealer with, with the same side of the brush. Now, also what I was thinking, I'm gonna take the shade Cairo. I like this. It's simple, but it's really pretty to me. So I like this a lot. For my inner corner shade, I normally wait, but I kinda wanna do it now. I'm gonna take the shade Giza. I love this shade to use even as like a highlight on my skin sometimes. Like if I really want that like gleaming highlight, I would use it. So I'm gonna just take it and put that in the inner corner. And we're most likely gonna be adding it again because once I contour and stuff, I get a little crazy. So. That is it for the eyes for now. So I am going to contour now. So for contour, for contour I picked up this palette from Beauty Bakery. It's the Neapolitan Bar Face Palette and it has a, a blush, a highlight, and a contour. So this seemed the most appealing for my skin tone. So it looks like this. I think this is such a cute idea. So I'm gonna go in with the contour shade. Um, I don't think it has names on it. It literally looks like a whole like, oh, I just love it. It looks like a whole candy bar, I love it. I'm gonna take this angled brush and I'm gonna take that contour shade and contour it up. Ooh, pigment, she's there. Ooh, that looks so harsh on camera, but it's not that harsh in person, but we're gonna try and blend that out just a little more. I kinda did go ham, cause I didn't know. Wow, I like this. I like this. I'm a sucker for a good like contour and highlight palette. I don't know why. Even there's one from Black Radiance that I would always get from Target and I was just obsessed because it had highlight and contour in it. Like I was just obsessed. I haven't used that in so long. But I'm just going in. When I contour my um when I contour my chin and like my jaw, I like to bring it into my neck a little bit because sometimes I know that, I guess it's just the way I do it, I would leave like a harsh line and you know, I don't really like that. I don't want it to look like I can't. I mean, I want it to look like I contour, but not like look like I contoured, you know? And so I just kind of bring it into like my neck a little bit just to make it more seamless. So I'm liking where this is going. I'm gonna take this big brush and kind of wipe away the excess, even though the reason why I like to set before I do my contour is because I feel like when I'm doing my contour, it kind of takes away the setting powder that's left over. So it kind of helps bring, really bring the warmth into my skin as opposed to like looking like white and you know, so that's just how I like to do it, how I see it. Oh wow, this is nice. I really like this color. I'm gonna be using it. So. Now we're gonna go into blush. So for blush, I'm using that same palette that I just used, and I'm gonna take the blush shade. It's this deeper, berryish shade, so I'm gonna just smile and put it on the apples of my cheeks, and I like to go in an upward motion, as you guys will see soon. Ooh, I like this color a lot, actually. I always like to take some, put a little bit on my nose, because you know, like, we're blushing. <laughs> And always on my chin, I don't know. I kind of put it in places where I've contoured. But you don't notice it so much. And then sometimes I like to go back into the same brush that I contoured with and kind of just fix her up a bit. Next I'm gonna go in with mascara. And for mascara, I picked up the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. I have not used it yet. I got the mini one. She's really cute. So we're just gonna try her out. I did this fast, huh? But I'm going to, so for my lips, I have a product from Fenty Beauty. I love their liquid matte, I love their matte liquid lipsticks, but I don't think that that, the one that I have, I have unbuttoned, I don't think that it would go with this look. So what I decided to do, I have these black collaborations from ColourPop. Now, I'm going to be using the Makeup Sheila X ColourPop Lippy Pencil. But let me know of any, of any lip products that you love from your favorite black owned makeup brand so I can get some, I can cop some, and try them out for myself. I saw, I believe the lip bar is black owned. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I saw the, them, um, but I wasn't able to make a purchase because I had purchased these other things. But please let me know down below of anything um, else that I can try. Oh my gosh! 
I'm insane. I literally forgot highlight. Hello. We're gonna take the same Neapolitan bar. Sweetie, get it together. Okay. <laughs> what? Beautiful. It's so like gleaming on your skin. It looks so natural and it's not too blinding. It's literally like the perfect highlight. What the heck? Damn, Beauty Bakery, y'all showed out today. I gotta order from y'all more. So now that my highlight is added on, that looks so natural and beautiful. Oh my God, you guys should see the way this looks in person. Like no cap, like this is so pretty. Okay, okay, but I'm gonna finish my lips and then I'm gonna come back and conclude this video and show you guys the final look. I just remembered, obviously, I don't have lashes, so let me know if any lashes that I could try out from a black-owned company. But this is the final look. Instead of using the... Okay, so for the lip combo, instead, I switched it up, and I did use the ColourPop X Makeup Shayla Lip Liner and BFF for support the collaboration. But I also... I couldn't find the matte liquid lipstick, so I just decided... I remembered I had my favorite lip gloss on hand, Fenty Beauty Fussy, so I decided to put that in the middle. And it, like, made this really pretty, like chocolatey pinkish like brown lip gloss and i'm actually like, really living for it so i love this look i can honestly say i've fallen in love with the products that i did use i really like the foundation i've already loved the concealer i already like the eyeshadows i like the setting powder um it's it set what it needed to do it did what it needed to do i do like the contour highlight blush palette as well the mascara is cute i would definitely love to throw a lash on with it but it's good on your own especially if you just don't want anything too crazy i think it's good on its own um love my lip products because these are like my everyday staples literally you, if you guys watch my videos you know um and i've pretty much fallen in love with everything and no bs so i don't have a setting spray so like i said let me know um, because I really would love to support and it's just really important to me to do that so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this video was able to take your mind off of anything that was heavy on your mind and to just bring you into a better place for even the few minutes that you did watch me um, like I said please let me know of any other brands down below and also in regards to fashion skincare and hair care please let me know down below put the links put the names first of all I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow wow oh my god if you could see this in person but like but like I said please let me know because these are videos that will be coming on my channel within the next few months most likely um because you know this is something that should always be we should always support black, black businesses and I'm just happy that you know that they are being really put into the spotlight right now and I'm happy to support so just please let me know if it's your business anybody's business let me know so I can check them out um and yeah so don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel um in the next few slides like I said that I've had in my last videos um will be a slide where I have links to donate and then a slide for mental health resources because like I said I know this time is really tough and it can take a toll um, on your mental health seeing all the crazy things that go on in our world not even just in America there are crazy things that are happening in different countries as well but uh, my main focus for this video was to really bring awareness and bring light to black owned beauty brands and black owned businesses to support them and to give them your love and to just support them as they should be because they freaking rock so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one let me know if any video suggestions you have down below please let me know um i will see you guys in the next one bye you guys no hold on because i just concluded this video but do you guys see how my face looks? Like, my face does not look like this always. This foundation, I'll be using her. This Beauty Bakery palette, I'll be using her. Oh my god, I got freaking lipstick. Ma'am. Okay, she's gone. Okay, let me, that's a sign for me to stop because I'm feeling myself a little way too much. But go support these black-owned makeup brands. Oh, I'm feeling myself too much. I actually really love this lip. I'm going to start doing this combo because this is cute. This is cute. Go copy the lip liner and... This is cute. Ah! <laughs> this is cute. Okay. Bye-bye. i